Don't mind me. Just, just gonna go frolic for a minute. I love this place. Hello, Bee. Look at her go. Oh, she's so happy. Hello all, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Cup of Tea, which is a peaceful modded series meant to feel like a warm cup of tea. And you will never guess what I managed to install. You're all, go you're, you're all gonna be so proud of me. Here it is. I finally got just enough items to work. And, and, that's not all. Let me, hang on. I need to go make sure I get your name right. Come on, Discord load. As some of you know, one of the best ways to get in contact with me is through the Craftworks SMP fan Discord, which is linked in all of my different Craftworks videos. And Miss Kelly May MC introduced me to a little mod called Croptopia, which means we have tea now. I mean, not physically, but we have the the prospect of tea because this mod adds a bunch of different steak. Yep, yep, it adds steak. It does not, that's vanilla. It adds a bunch of different recipes other than Farmer's Delight because as ugh, try as I might, I tried to get Farmer's Respite to work so hard, but it is not updated to 1.21. So thank you everyone who's recommended it. I wish I could, but I cannot. Instead, we have Croptopia and I'm very happy about it. We have crabs now, that's exciting. And steamed broccoli. Ah, uh, yes. That's exactly what Minecraft was missing. Isn't that right, B? But I'm very happy about tea. I'm gonna have to figure out how to find tea leaves here soon so we can make that happen. So that is very exciting. I think I figured it out. <gasps> Aha! Okay. You just had to hit R. Okay. I'm... I'm so smart and Google is so helpful. Okay, great. How do I find you? I don't think it's going to tell me, though. So I think I might just have... It, I think it's just gonna have to be a surprise. Unless I Google it. Hold on. Come here, Google. In the plains biome. Okay. Well, I think we have our heading. How far away am I from a plains biome? Is this a plains biome? I don't think a plains biome has trees, so I that's probably not a plains biome. And I finally discovered that everything with question marks is a modded biome. Oh, village. Okay, that's actually really good to know. <gasps> oh, I can take my horse. Hello, chicken. Oh, thank you. Also, I do have a plan for the day, just so you know. I am not just going to be finding tea. What am I looking for? Food. Food is over here. I forgot I organized my chests. That's actually slightly inconvenient now. Oh, I have no food. Huh, that's kind of not useful. Oh, I've got some mutton here. Nope, stay there. Stay. Good chicken. Hello, horse. Oh, it says I, I own it. <gasps> Oh, that's so satisfying. Hello. Wow. Okay, you're you're a climber. You're a climber, aren't you? All right. Well, that's a good thing because we're about to go on an adventure. You all gave me some very, very nice name suggestions for my pets, and I really appreciate that, but I actually have an idea in mind for all the names for my pets. If you've seen any of my other Minecraft series, I tend to name my pets after the longest names I can find. Oh, I almost fell in a hole there, which would be a lot of fun in this series, but I kind of want to stick with the tea theme. So I have decided that I'm going to name all of my pets and beloved animals, not the ones I'm using for food, after different types of tea. So my horse here, this is going to be Earl. Earl Grey. Hello, Earl Grey. I'm saying that so I can stop calling him horse. And my chicken, I think my chicken's going to be named Chai because I love Chai and I love my chicken. So it just makes sense for the chicken to be chai. And as I get more animals and more pets, I'm going to be naming them after tea as well. Oh, actually, I think I know which village this is. I kind of remember being over here. I'm very excited to get villagers though. Okay, interesting thought. I'm not sure if the tea mod is going to load since I've technically already loaded these chunks before, I think. I'm also not sure at all what I'm looking for. Oh, there's the village. Oh, sorry. One thing I usually try to aim for is to find a village close to water because it's a lot easier to transport villagers in boats, especially now that you can lead boats. Okay, good. This village is pretty close to water. And according to my map here, this water does not go home. Okay, this village may not work after all. <laughs> well, maybe we can find another village then. I don't see anything that looks like it could be a tea leaf. Oh well, 
Maybe it will come to me. Okay, well, tea leaves are gonna have to wait, and that village isn't quite what I was looking for. So thank you, Earl, but I think we're gonna have to do this one by boat. Okay, I've got leads, I've got boats. I probably should not bring my one and only stone cutter. I'll just put that by the door here. I don't have very much food, but hopefully that won't be a problem. And who knows, maybe we'll run into a plains biome and we can get tea. Oh! I haven't discovered this one yet. This is perfect. Oh, this is... This is actually pretty close to my house. Okay, I haven't loaded these chunks before. No wonder I wasn't able to spot it. Hello, friends. I really need food. So this is mine now. There's a cat. How badly do I want a cat? What kind is it? Hold on, where's the cat? There you are. Hello. Oh, it's a jelly cat. Hello. Oh, I don't have any fish on me. Okay, um, I think we need to focus on the villagers first. Hello, hello. Oh, it's meeting time. Oh, excuse me, hold on just a second. I am starving. How are you? Oh, you've got carrots and wheat. That might actually be good. Her to you too. Hello. Let's actually look in their houses first because sometimes, ooh. Okay, yoink, that's mine now. What other stuff do you have? Emeralds, great. Leather boots, not as great. I think everyone's going to bed. And I'm up. Okay, what else have we got? Hi. Ooh, fish. Oh, it's raw. Okay. Onions. Okay, that could be fun. Hello. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's a little one. Hello. Oh, I can see how much time you have until your childhood is over. That's exciting. Enjoy it while it lasts, buddy. Are you and I meant to be? Here, hang on, hang on. Oh, we are! Hello! Okay! I have a cat now! Now, I know this is the jelly variant, but I think I'm gonna give it a different name. I'm gonna think about it a little bit longer, because I want to make sure this is the right decision. But I think I have a name in mind for you. I should probably stop getting distracted, but there might be some useful stuff in these chests. That's not a chest, that's a chair. Huh. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> I just wanted to be included in the conversation. Oh, okay. Another important thing I'm gonna have to do is break all the beds in the houses. I need to make sure they they don't try to um leave. Okay. Oh, oh, there's nothing in this house. That's interesting. Maybe it's a government building. Uh. Oh, I'm s I'm mm, I'm conflicted. I'm sorry. Gosh, I really am the monster and peaceful. This is why I don't like dealing with villagers. It's not because they're annoying, it's because I am. I feel bad, but it's kind of the only way to do this. Okay, I think I got all of them. You. I like you. Yeah, no, 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 okay. That's right, okay. Um. Here, what if we get to get to know each other first? Yes, hello. Um. My favorite color is light blue what's your favorite color no that's not what no 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 that's not how you do conversation okay hold on it's nighttime it's nighttime i understand you need to go home and sleep i will try to do the same i also like sleep if he's gone okay it's not worth trying to make conversation okay and about hey you i need your help i need you to get in this boat get in the boat hello would you like to come with me as well Cool! Alright, that's two of them. Um, I also need to destroy all the workstations, I'm just now realizing. However, I like this guy's trade, so... Let me just lock you in here real fast. Thank you! We did our first trade! Hello, would one of you be interested in becoming my friend? Yay, you are! Okay. Oh, how rude. I should introduce myself. Hello, my name is Izzy. What kind of getting to know you questions could I ask? Uh, Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Trick question. Chronicles of Narnia. The Lord of the Rings is cool too. And there we go. All right, you stay there. What did I just throw? I think I have an idea for the cat. Since this one's supposed to be a jelly cat, I think I want to name you Boba. You're Boba. Because Boba's kind of jelly-like. Boba tea. I think that works. I think that's cute. Come on, Boba. Let's go get the others. Oh, and I forgot that I can lead this boat now, too. That might actually be a lot easier. Where did I stick them? I forgot. All right, boys. Let's see what we can... Not that one. Not that one. All right. Oh, this is working. It's working. Don't suffocate. There we go. We're good. Oh, this is so much faster. We good? We good? We're good. Yeah. Boba, you okay? Hello. I'm bringing your friends with us. Um, Boba, are you gonna be okay with floating? Or do I need to make another boat for you? Okay, I think we're good. Are we a train? We are a train. And 
Is Boba gonna teleport to us if we go too far? Yep, yeah, okay, I have to be on land. Hmm. Yeah, me too. Okay, um, let's make one more boat. See if we can get Jelly to come over and sit with you. All right, Jelly, there we go. Okay, in that case, I'm taking this opportunity and running with it. <gasps> yes, yes, no, yes. So, um, what kind of movies do you like? Rom-coms, uh, okay, well, we can still be friends. I have acquired one more friend. All right, I have four now. That may be a little excessive, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. And look at this nice little train we've got going. Oh, I love that you can lead boats now. This is gonna make this so much easier. So now I have to make a house for these guys. I have some ideas and hopefully they like them. Are we doing? I lost one. I lost a boat. Where did it go? Oh no. Well, thankfully I don't have to worry about them being eaten by zombies or anything, but I have no clue where that one went. <laughs> did you guys see what happened? There they are, okay. Why didn't you guys say anything? Come on. All right, I think we're good now. We're good now, I think we're good now. If you get lost, stay where you are and wait for someone to find you. You guys did exactly what you were supposed to do. I'm so proud of you. Don't worry, I didn't freak out at all. Shush, 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 they don't need to know that I actually did freak out. They're all so chatty back there. I'm so glad they're getting to know each other. Where do I wanna park you guys for now? Did I lose anybody? Nope, we're good. There. Nice. I'm sorry, Boba. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to stay in there for a little bit because I don't want any of these guys wandering off. Now that these guys are on shore, it's time to make them a little bit of a more permanent dwelling. And I need to decide where I'm going to put it because I plan on expanding it as the series goes on, much like the rest of the base, because I uh, honestly do not know how many villagers I'm gonna need. So let me do a little bit of scouting here. Could go right there. I think that would be a good little corner for them. Where am I? <laughs> and they've got a view. They arguably have a better view than I do. Man, I should have built over here. As much as I know that it's gonna take a while to trade with all of these guys, I think that means it's better to start doing it as soon as possible. So I'm gonna need a smithing table. I'm gonna need a lectern. Do I have leather? I do, okay. And I need a fletcher, I think. So do I have flint? And as unethical as it may look, I am uh, going to make a little bit of a, a fence for these guys. Just just for now. Just for now. And mostly so they don't go in my house. Okay. Lectern. We're gonna try this. And I do not expect it to end well. Here we go. Oh, please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Perfect. Okay, that works. <laughs> Points for ingenuity. All right, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? You're gonna go over there, that makes sense. Okay, and then what are you gonna do? Nice, nice. Perfect, okay, we got a librarian. Let's not hit Boba. Oh, like that, I'm so sorry. That's for you, okay. Did I? Ah, okay, it's fine though, it's fine, it's fine. I need to get you fish. All right, everybody's in the pen. Good job, everybody, good job today. Well done, very proud of you. I need fish right now. I'm so sorry. No, don't go into the barley, please. I can't feed you there. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is for you. Come on. There we go. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry. Now that I have calmed down. <laughs> Boba, how'd you get in there? Well, I think I'm going to try to trade a little bit more with these guys. And as I do that, I'm going to be gathering up a couple of resources for their house. Hi. Um, sorry, I'm a YouTuber. Yeah, okay. They're going to give me weird looks no matter what. I should just, um... Just, just, just don't look at him. I was able to find the tree harvesting mod, thanks to you guys telling me that it worked really well for you. Um, and again, I apologize for not knowing exactly who it was who recommended this mod, but I'm pretty sure a couple of you actually recommended the tree harvester mod. So I'm going to see if that works, because I'm pretty sure I managed to find one for this version. And then I should just be able to shift and then... Nope. Okay. Do I need to take out the whole bottom? Is that why? Nope. That didn't work. Okay. Let's see what that's not working. Okay. It worked. I just had to not be recording, apparently. <laughs> of course. Oh, that works really well. Okay. Thank you. I can finally get rid of all these trees that I've been meaning to chop down and just haven't because I haven't at the time. Thank you all for that suggestion. I was kind of hesitating though because it does feel a little bit cheaty to me, but, um, that is really nice to just be able to get rid of that that quickly. <laughs> That's so cool. Fletcher, please. Here, I have sticks for you. 
Yes, you need to walk over here. I'm in a pile of sticks. All right, fine, I'll come to you. Thank you. I think I've traded with these guys as much as I can. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Do I have a door? I need a door. This is this is very important. I crafted nothing craftable. There we go. No way. No way did I not know this was a thing. What? Excuse me? What? Why did no one tell me that there are custom doors in the chipped mod and that they're absolutely gorgeous? I just... I need a minute. Oh my gosh. I just placed a fence. I'm so excited. What? 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 I'm sorry. I'm gonna get loud. I'm gonna get loud. But you're all said that it was fine that I get loud. Can you do anything else? No, you cannot do slabs. Of course you can't do slabs. Slabs are boring. Who would want to mod slabs? Oh my word. So pretty. Okay. All right. Um, I'm actually collecting resources now that I am... I'm on my way to recovery. Oh, that's right. Um, I also installed another little mod. As you can see up there, where Jade's talking to me. Uh, this is from the Plants and Junk mod, apparently. So this is Ivy. That's cool. Plants and Junk also adds a bunch of really cool different bugs to the game, I think. And this one was recommended to me by my friends on the backyard, SMP, because I got to visit their SMP and they had butterflies and it was magical, so I stole it. And now it is mine. I haven't seen any butterflies yet, but... Maybe we will. All right, that should be enough. Ugh, love that. Love it. Gosh, that was a big one. Okay, I was totally gonna start building, but I was looking at my block palette and realized that it is in desperate need of some green wood. And even though I don't need it necessarily, I want it necessarily. So guess what? I'm gonna go try to find some green wood. And in order to do that, I need a nature's compass, which was a mod that pretty much all of you decided I needed. And now I agree. And I'm pretty sure I know how to craft. I think you just need four saplings, four logs, and a compass. Is that right? Yes, I need a compass. But guess what? You can probably guess. I don't have a compass. <laughs> but I know exactly where to find one. It's um in the village. You know the village where we just were, where we got all of the villagers? Yeah, that village. So I'm going back to that village to get a compass and that's it because I don't want to go mining for redstone. And I'm gonna go from the village to wherever willow trees are, hopefully. There it is, that's all I need. Compass, logs, saplings. Yeah, I made a nature's compass, sir. Isn't this exciting? How do I use it? Let's find out. Okay, well, you just right click on, on the sky by you, okay. Oh, it's 2,000 blocks away. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better about not being able to find it. This way? This way. I need to go this way. Oh, that's right. The compass actually points to it, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just gonna take a casual little 3,000 block journey to get some green wood because I definitely have time for that. This looks slightly different than usual. Strawberry? Oh, that's adorable. Oh no, I forgot that I'm going to start finding new things. I forgot that I also need to be keeping an eye out for plains biomes because that means squash. I want squash. Wait, I don't think that's what I think it is, but if it is what I think it is, then it, I think I think it could be really cool. But I don't think it's what I think it is. Sandy shrub, sea beet. <laughs> I want a sea beet. <laughs> Did I get a sea beet? I got a sea beet. Oh, moss. Hold on, I need more of this. Hello? <gasps> Let's give it to me. Yes, we got tea. <laughs> did it give me tea leaf or tea seeds? It did. Okay, I have tea seeds. Ooh, an elderberry. Ooh, this has turned into a um, a berry picking adventure. Oh yeah, and apparently that's a thing. There are fruit trees now. Hello? Oh, I can actually just pick these. Oh, that's so cool. We got tea. That was totally worth the trip. Squint. Nope. There's a dragon Why? I don't know what to do about that. I think I need like special jars or something in order to capture all the bugs. Hello. It's so cute. Would you like a permissin or persimmon or however you pronounce this thing? Nope. Okay. I guess I'll just sleep then. I forgot there were four flies in this one. Okay, that's from the plants and junk mod pack and I can have to, I, I can do absolutely nothing about it because I don't have a jar. I might have to come back. I think I see them. Yes, that looks like it. Okay. I would not have been able to find this without 
the Nature's Compass mod. So thank you all for that suggestion. Was it worth the trip? Was it worth the trip? Are you actually green? It's green. It looks green. Whoa, oh gosh. <laughs> okay, that was a lot bigger than I thought it'd be. Oh no! Oh no! Um, I don't need the sticks. <gasps> Look at the sapling! Okay, wait, you're gorgeous. Look at that! Hang on, let's look at the let's look at the log. Okay, it's not as bright as I thought it would be, but it's it's definitely green-ish. <laughs> Close enough, I'll take it. I found a bayou. It's real. How do I get home? Ooh, should we see how far away we are? We oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, that's a lot farther than I thought it would be. Okay, let's start now. It is dark, but I made it back. And I really need to make a dock because I can't see anything. Good night, villagers. <laughs> Thanks, Chai. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, that was a surprisingly productive trip. This. I am so excited for this. How do I use this? How do I... Oh, okay. <laughs> See Pete's. I just need to go make a little berry garden now. These are all so cute. Okay, wait, does this get rid of the... Do I lose my bucket if I do this? Maybe I'll make a glass bottle first, just in case that's a little less expensive. Tea. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Okay, I can't step on that now. It has never been more important that I don't trample a crop. Okay, I'm actually really glad that I made this decision because that's gonna be a great color palette for what I have in mind. Is this gonna eat my bottle? Wait, no. Wait, no. Wait, no, just enough items said that would work. Croptopia water bottle? What? How's that different? Hold on. Excuse me? Oh, that's definitely gonna eat my bucket. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I can get more iron. Okay. I'm trusting you, Croptopia. It lied to me. It still lied to me. What do you mean? And that does consume the bottle. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's actually so cute. Okay, I can't place this. Okay, it's like a potion. I have to be able, I have to drink it. Okay. I don't think this is gonna give me any effects. What should I do? I'm gonna do it. Boba, look, Boba, look. Boba, watch me drink tea. Watch it, watch, watch it. Watch, 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 watch. Worth it. Okay, not gonna lie. That was like super underwhelming. <laughs> oh well, we have tea. It is just for the vibes. Well, there you go, guys. You wanted tea in the mod pack? Tea is in the mod pack now. Cup of tea has cups of tea. Hey, you! Huh? No, the other person behind you. Okay. Huh. Hello? He sounded so happy! Huh. You're welcome! <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so, so excited to make a sale! That's so sweet! I got a snow blossom sapling. That's exciting. We'll see what that ends up looking like. Huh. Yeah. I'll take a rose. Thank you. I'll go put it in the greenhouse. Hi, B. Oh, it's so cute. Now I'm content to sit down and actually build the thing. Boba's been very content here with her face in the chest. So now without any more furthering of the ado, I think it's about time we built a little something for our villagers. Isn't that right, Mr. Trader? <laughs> he actually agreed. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Hi. Okay, okay. Let's just build the thing.
I'm making myself be done. I could definitely do some more details, but for one thing, it's already looking um, a little bit uh, too much. And for another, I am, um, this is all the food I have. So I need to get some actual trading done with these villagers instead of just sprucing up their living quarters. But I still worked very hard on their living quarters. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Here it is. I made them a little motel. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I tried to make it look cute. I really did. But then I started adding greenery and now it kind of looks like the landlord hasn't been here in 40 years, but I'm okay with it. I think it's actually really fun. And I am so glad I went and got the willow wood because it fits in perfectly. I love this color. It's such a muted shade of green, kind of like an avocado color. I don't know. You could pretty much call this anything and I'd say that that's probably accurate, but I love it so much. I am so happy with the way that these turned out. And surprise, surprise, I even did some interiors. Not too much though, because um, my sheep are running out of wool, so I couldn't do too much. But yeah, just enough to make it look a little bit more homey. And I uh, went ahead and stole their workbenches, so they are none too happy with me. They've been conspiring since I took their livelihood away. Um, so I'm gonna have to move them over here as quickly as possible before they um, start an uprising of some kind. But I'm really happy with the way these little interiors turned out. I even put some saplings of the trees in pots. And each uh, interior is pretty much the same. The paintings and the saplings are different, but I still have their workstations over in this corner. I even put some chests in here, just because I didn't want to do anything else with that corner. And you might notice the torches. They're really cool because it's um, via the chipped mod. I actually have a couple different torch options here. Hold on, let me show you. There are a couple different kinds of torches that you can use if you stick them in one of the chip tables. And that's really cool. Makes it look just a little, a little bit less like I stuck a torch on the wall. Um, but I kind of have to just use torches because I lost my iron. No, I didn't use it. No, it didn't despawn, and no, it is not lost in a chest. I put it in my backpack for safekeeping. You know that backpack? You know the one that's not in my inventory anymore? Yeah, guess why that is? Um, because apparently there's a little glitch that makes it so you can put the backpack in itself. <laughs> I've done this before, and usually it's just like a little bit of a glitch, and then it doesn't let you do it. And I'm like, oh, okay, so, oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know why that's forced habit, but I'll just, I just won't do that again. I did it again, and this time the backpack ate itself. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. It just like went to Narnia. <laughs> so I don't have my backpack anymore, and all of my iron is gone. Thankfully, my diamonds and my emeralds weren't in there. I had the good sense to keep those out of it. Um, but I don't have iron, so I think next episode is going to have to end up being an iron mining episode, which is fine because I've been meaning to do some cozy mining. Anyway, here's the greenhouse. It's the same exact thing, just with a, with a willow sapling. And I'm absolutely in love with the willow tree. I am so glad I took the time to go and find that. And um, thank you for the suggestion to go find willow wood and for the suggestion to use nature's compass because nature's compass saved this build. And I hope the villagers love it. So uh, let's go move them in, shall we? Let's see if these villagers want to have anything to do with me after I've taken away their workstation for three days. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. Um... Good to see you all. You're looking, you're looking good. I'd say you're looking well, but that's not grammatically correct. How would you like a boat? A, a boat. Nice. All right. What about you guys? You want a boat? Okay. There we go. Yep. It's just, let's play tag. Tag, you're it. Get in the boat. Yes. Okay. I, I'm great at this game. So we're taking a little field trip. And by field trip, I mean we're moving. Let's go, boys. And possibly one or two girls. Not too far away. You might have actually been watching me build this, come to think of it. I should stop acting like you don't know what's going on. So their workstations are in there along with their beds. So hopefully none of them have paired to my bed over there. I didn't really think about that, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, good. Oh, they're on their way. Please be on your way. Please be on your way. Oh, good for you, parkour master. All right, same story? Yes, no? Yes? 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 Yes! Okay! That was super easy! Hi? Oh, is the carpet... Wow, okay. They have been thwarted by carpet. Right, yep, okay, we just learned that you guys don't like carpet. I'm sorry. There you go. 
Okay, you want to be a librarian? What do we have? Bookshelves. Uh, no. Uh, sharpness five. Oh, wow. That'd be great if I had to fight anything, but I don't. More bookshelves. Okay. You know what? It's fine. I gave you a house of your own, aren't you? So Wait, they can do that? How have I never seen a farmer actually farm before? <laughs> Wait! Wait! I knew that they could actually use the compost, but I didn't... You're better at that than I am! Oh, he even... You even took the carrots! Can you put... And you... He even put it back! You're so talented! Oh, hang on. I flipped my trapdoor out of excitement. I need to trade with you more. Gosh, I really need some food. Oh, wait, I had an idea. I love that there's so much movement here with just them coming in and out of the doors, but I feel like there could be a little bit more, so, um... There's two... There! We have chickens now! <laughs> Hello! You're all so cute! And you made it straight into the fountain. I'm not surprised. The other one is in... You're in the wheat. You're in the wheat? But I'm trying to give you seeds. There you go. Okay. You're all adorable. Love it. Love you. Well, I'm even happier now that I know all of that and now that this place has some, some actual people living in it. As I need more villagers, I'll just, uh, you know, give them a few carrots and there are plenty of extra beds so they can just do their thing. Hi, sorry I'm talking about you. But I think that is plenty for today. I will worry about trading and stuff um, probably off camera and update you with how that goes. Oop, the librarian's excited. And there it goes. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to check out any of the mods for yourself, make sure to check them out down in the description below. As for the um, mod pack itself, I am still working on it, but I think it is really close to being done. I'm going to do a couple more experiments, I think. Maybe add the gravestones mod just in case. Um, but I think I'll be ready to release it to you guys in just a couple more episodes. So if you have any last minute suggestions, make sure to leave those down in the comments. All of the information about the series and the mod pack are listed down in the description below. So please be sure to go check that out. And it's meeting time. Everybody's meeting. There they go. Look at them. Oh, hi. <gasps> Oh, I was almost I was almost included in the conversation. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Minecraft Cup of Tea. Goodbye all. Also Jelly's doing great. She's sitting here in the window with me and tea is still very expensive. Oh, it, it does fill me up. All right. That makes me feel a little bit better about it.